Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. My name is Chirag Vaishnav, and in this video, we will have a look at Flutter for Android development. So, before Flutter, 48% developers used to build Android apps natively over Java and Kotlin, and 42% developers used cross platform like React Native for developing Android apps. But after the launch of Flutter framework, a lot of Android developers around the world have switched to Flutter as it provides fast, easy and smooth development. So in this video, we will discuss about what is Flutter. And after that, I will give you 10 points that why Android developers around the world are shifting towards Flutter. So do watch till end and let's get started. So Flutter is Google's UI framework for cross-platform development. It provides fast and responsive way to build native applications on iOS, Android, web as well as desktop with support Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. And that's the power of Flutter. And in this video, we are going to discuss about Flutter for Android development. So to get started with Flutter, the prerequisites are quite simple. You just need an operating system, either Windows, Mac or Linux with a disk space of 1.64 GB for all the required tools. Now let's look at 10 reasons that why Android developers around the world are shifting towards Flutter. So first in the list, we are having developer friendly. So Flutter is very developer friendly as most of the widget it provides are pre-built like rows, columns and containers and lot lot more. So we just need to modify and use it in our application which helps to build beautiful user interface more quickly and with less code. Second, we have more efficient. So when it comes to efficiency, Flutter is just wow. Means the work that Java can complete in 179 files and 12,176 lines. Dart can complete in just 31 files and 1735 lines and that's like more than 10 times efficient. Similarly, Flutter is way more efficient as compared to all other platforms used for Android development, which saves a lot of time and effort. Third is cross-platform. So as Flutter is a cross-platform from a single code base, you can make applications for iOS, Android, web as well as desktop which reduces a lot of work if you want to create a product for all the platforms and thus Flutter proves itself as the best solution. Fourth in the list, we are having hot reload. So while developing, one of the pains is when you have to run the changes in the code. In other platforms, it takes 10 to 15 seconds to save the code, compile it and see the output on the screen. But in the case of Flutter, it just takes fraction of seconds and that's the power of Flutter, which makes it fast and smooth. Fifth is Dart programming language. So Flutter uses Dart programming language, which is a very easy to learn and powerful language and is very similar to modern object oriented programming languages. So if you're having any prior experience to programming, it's very easy to get started with Dart. Sixth in the list, we are having open source. So Flutter has one of the largest open source communities that has emerged in past few years. So it provides enriched documentation about each and everything in Flutter. And with all the kind and helping people in the community, it becomes really easy to get started with Flutter as they are always up to help you by either giving some advice or referring to some documentation. Seventh, we are having freelance opportunities. So freelance opportunities for Flutter are increasing rapidly. Uh, last year, there was a 320% increase in the freelance opportunities for Flutter, which clearly indicates the demand for Flutter. And it's only gonna get bigger. And that's what attract developers towards it. Eighth in the list, we are having single file. So while developing Android applications from other platforms, we have to maintain two files separately, one for user interface and one for its functionality. But in the case of Flutter, we just have to maintain a single file, which reduces a lot of work as from a single file, you can maintain both its UI as well as its functionality in an easy way. Ninth, we are having packages and plugins. So Flutter provides us with a lot of packages and plugins for Android development, like AR core for augmented reality, ML kit for machine learning and a lot, lot more. So we can make applications for whatever we want with ease. And it works really smooth with the integration of different technologies like machine learning, augmented reality and a lot, lot more, which makes it really easy to explore different technologies with Flutter. Tenth, we are having compatible with all IDE. So when it comes to development, IDE plays a really important role. And in case of Flutter, you can get started with the IDE that you are most comfortable with. As Flutter integrates with all the major development tools like Android Studio, Visual Studio, Xbox, Eclipse, NetBeans and a lot, lot more. 
So Flutter has clearly came out as a winner as compared to all other platforms for Android development. As Flutter apps look native, smooth and slick, just as native Android. And that's what make Flutter the first choice for developers. So if you want to get started with Android development, Flutter is your way. That was it for today guys. So if you're having any doubt regarding whatever I have explained in this video, so do ask in the comment section. Also you can refer to a lot of articles on Geeks for Geeks website. So do like this video, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.